watch. I didn't even press record. Imagine. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to 17 of the Leprosy Challenge, I believe. So today we have some really exciting stuff. So first of all, sorry, my dog decided now was the perfect time to eat his breakfast, even though it's 4.30 p.m. Um, second of all, I added pets. So we now have a second, um, or I guess our first expansion pack, but we have a expansion pack added, really, really exciting. So I put the dog park right here, the cat park right across the street, and then the like equestrian where the horses run and stuff is over here. I didn't put the actual equestrian center down just because, oh, sorry, that's my chair, I swear. Uh, but I didn't actually put it down because we're definitely not going to have a horse in this house. I mean, once season two comes around, you know, we'll move them to Appaloosa Plains, which came with pets. And season two will have a horse, but not for this season. Also, on top of that, Hayden is going to become a teenager and Brie is going to have her final baby, which I'm so excited for. She is so pregnant. I'm so excited. Um, but we are going to, I'm actually going to wake her up right now. Actually, skip your bath. Sorry, honey. You got kids to take care of. Um, I'm going to wake her up right now and have her take care of Kendall. Snuggle her, tickle her, and feed her in the high chair. And I want to hopefully get Hayden aged up. Oh my god, my dog is sneezing. He's ridiculous. I want to hopefully get Hayden aged up before the baby is born. And I do also want to invite Leighton over just so once the baby is born. Oh, look at that. People are already... Oh, wait, never mind. I was like, oh, people are already adopting pets, but they're not. Um... So yeah, I want to get Hayden aged up before the baby's born. Sorry, my dog is distracting me. Are you? Oh no, you're still showering. Oh my god, he's so loud. I hate him. I love him, but I hate him. We still need to become friends with this Wesley guy, so I'm going to make sure we do that. Can you go feed her already so you can maybe take a shower before your daughter's birthday so you don't smell like an actual butthole? That would be nice. That'd be very nice. Also, that needs to go. Oh, just kidding. Hayden's going to age up right. Oh, are you kidding me? No! Give her food! Crap! The baby is coming. Make sure Brie is at home or the hospital so she can have a safe and comfortable birth. And our TV freaking broke. Oh, she did give her food. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I want a picture of you freaking out. Oh, she's so cute. Hayden, where are you going? Oh my god, that little girl is screaming. Hayden doesn't even care about her mom. She's just like, um, ma'am, the TV's broken. Okay, we're gonna send her to the hospital. And, oh my god, this little girl is really freaking out, though. Uh, we're gonna send her to the hospital, and I'm gonna wait to age up Hayden, because I do want her mom to be there, so we need to be friends with Wesley. Who is Wesley? Are you Wesley? Are you Wesley? Are you Wesley? Oh my god. This kid that we barely freaking know is who we need to be friends with. Also, I'm gonna oop, turn that off because I don't want it. I was really hoping... You know what? It's fine. Leighton will go to the hospital with us. Yes, we'll call a babysitter. Leighton will go to the hospital with us and then he'll come home. So it's fine. We already know it's going to be a baby girl, which I'm super excited for. And Hayden, you're definitely going to need to eat now. Is that? Oh, no, that's Keon. Yeah, you're definitely going to need to eat. I was going to just have them eat her birthday cake, but uh, it's going to take way too long. Way too freaking long. I don't think she's even in the hospital yet. Oh my gosh, and our garden out here is dying. Let's turn these on for her. Oop, don't view that. Hello? Turn that on. The grapevines are dead. Did I save some grapes? I did. Beautiful. Let me actually sell everything but the grapes. How much money did we get? 171. That's fine. That'll pay our babysitter at least. Why did that... 
turn that on. Oh, why did I tell you to view that? No. Okay, I think that's good enough. All the plants are covered. Go ahead and clean that up and clean that up. Okay, baby girl. All right, so we are going to name her Harley. Um, this was actually the name when Hayden was born. I was really undecisive between Hayden and Harley. And if you remember when Hayden was born, I said like, our next daughter, I already have the name picked out. And then when Kendall was born, I kind of forgot. So we're going to name her Harley and she can be... Let's actually give her a trait that, oh, I don't know if any traits that came with pets you can give to a child. I don't think you can. So let's make her insane and we'll make her a genius. A super smart genius. That sounds dangerous. Um, do we not have any fish in there? We don't have any fish in there. Our little baby, Harley. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to wait till they get home. Leighton is now the father of a new baby girl. Bree just gave birth to a baby girl named Harley. Oh, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. I love her. Oh, she's hungry. She said, give me food now. <gasps> Leighton's here, though. Hey, boo. Please don't leave for work. Okay. All right, so let's give her a bottle, snuggle her, um, play with her. Where are you going? Where are you going? No, why don't you talk to Leighton? Ask him about his day, admire him, tell him a funny story, get to know him, friendly hug, all that stuff. Okay, let's take a look at Harley. She's going to look exactly like every baby looks, except my babies don't have eyes. Um, I still can't figure that one out, so if you guys, you know, want to help a girl out, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and grab a second crib. I'm just going to get the exact same crib we have, and then maybe if there's anywhere that it will fit. Um, if I put this out here just for now... Oh, no, you still don't fit, so that's fine. Um, I guess <laughs> I guess she'll just sleep in the living room for now. It's only for two nights um, because Kendall is going to age up into a child in two days, right? Yeah, in two days. So then uh, Harley will get Kendall's crib. We'll get rid of Harley's crib. And then Kendall will get a new bedroom upstairs. Okay, so we're going to put her in the crib. We're going to let Kendall out. And then we're going to go take a quick shower. And then I will age Hayden up. Oh my god, I almost called her Harley. Oh, this is going to be so hard. Brie, I know you're hungry, but you just got to wait. She wants to become best friends with Leighton. Oh my god. This is so cute. It's like they're meant to be. Like... Bree's daughters love Leighton. It's like, it's a sign. It really is a sign. I love him. Again, I don't see Bree ever getting married, but potentially he could be like a long-term boyfriend. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just, we'll see what happens, I guess. Alright, go use the potty and then go play with that. I want to get a picture of them hugging because I think that would be so cute. Oh, they're so adorable. She's like, oh, you're a better dad than my real dad. Oh my god, I love them so much. Um, gossip. <laughs> Literally all I can do is gossip, complain about dishes, and play tag. Um, get to know him again. I'm just kind of waiting for Brie to take her shower, because she smelled like a butthole. And have you heard that Wesley has been flirting with Darcy? Oh, never mind. He's leaving. Okay, let's just buy the cake. If Brie doesn't take, like, a full shower, that's fine. She still has to do her garden today anyways, which gets you smelly, so. Alright. Let's plop this bad boy down. It's so weird, because usually that cake is, like, a little farther down here. Um, Alright, for Hayden. Hayden's having a birthday party. I'm really sad that Leighton didn't stay for it. 
Because, like, that's kind of his kid. That's, like, almost his stepdaughter, you know? But whatever. I guess it's fine. And one of you guys said that Hayden should either have the charismatic or the party animal trait. But I really want to give her a trait that came with pets. So... Maybe when she becomes a young adult, I'll do one of those traits, but like I said, I just really want a trait that came with pets because that is the next expansion pack, and I don't know which one of the three girls is going to be the heir of the family. I like to wait until they're at least a child before I make that decision because it's not really fair for Harley for me to say, oh no, it's Hayden right now because I don't know Harley. I don't even know what she looks like, you know? Anyways... Um, Hayden has reached her teen years. Angst and raging hormones can make this a difficult period for any sim. Hayden can now join the workforce by taking a part-time job, although her grades are still a big factor in her future success. And we get to choose a trait for her. Beautiful. So, I believe the only traits that came with pets is animal lover, cat person, and dog person? Oh, and equestrian. Those are the only four that came with, um pets, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to give her animal lover just so, you know, she'll love all animals. So, there we go. Look at Brie over here being so cute. She wants to join the science career. Uh-uh. That's not happening. Oh, she can get a job now. Which I think... I think I'll wait until... Nah, maybe I'll just get her a job right now. I think I'll get her a job on Monday. There we go. That's what we'll do. All right, Hayden, you do not need a slice. Don't grab it. Um, why don't you actually... Who is Wesley? Chat with him and then invite him over because you need to be friends with him for your school stuff. So let's do that. Bree, can you stop? I'm too busy. Try calling back. Blah, 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 blah. What an asshole. Okay, um... I don't know what to do with Har or Hayden now that she's an adult. Or not an adult, but a teen. You can get rid of that. Why don't you actually come work on your writing? There we go. I think I want to wait till she's level four and then have her do like actual books. I think that would make a lot of sense. And then you are just going to come right... Oh, your sim's too hungry. Well, I'll give that two seconds. You are going to come right out and tend your garden. Um, actually, I need her to go fishing so we can get more, more fish in there. I don't know what happened to the old fish. Actually, we're going to dispose of the dead plants, then tend our garden. There we go. Because did we not put fish in there? I swear I put like three different fish in there. And now they're just gone. Kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. Um, I also want to have... Hayden, oh my god, I keep wanting to call her Harley. I want to have Hayden adopt a pet. I'm thinking a dog, but I'm not sure. Definitely, like I said, not a horse in this house. Once, you know, season two of the Leprosy comes around, there will for sure be a horse, because obviously it's a pet-based LP. Um, but once, um, once season two comes around, we'll get a horse. But for now, I think we'll just start with a dog, maybe a kitten, depending on what I like. So, yeah. But she's just going to do a bunch of stuff with her garden. I think that's what we're mainly going to focus on today. And then, ooh, what, Xander, what does he want? Of course I want to talk to you, Xander. Um, but I think we'll focus on our garden today. And then tomorrow, when Hayden goes to school, I'll probably get a babysitter and have Bree go out and get her part-time job. Maybe we'll go hook up with Xander, and then we'll try and hook up with Gus. And maybe for old times' sakes, we can have like a one little last raha, raha, raha? hurrah, oh my god. <laughs> I'm an idiot. We can have one last hurrah with Jared, maybe? I don't know. That's that's a lot for one day. But I'm actually going to have you stop and get your pet right now. Because I know it takes a minute for the pets to get here. And then why don't you just kind of clean up the house a little bit. Clean the toilet. 
we're not replacing that shower I'm sorry put this away we'll just clean that up I know technically you could still eat it but that's a little bit gross since her friend did eat like half of it clean this I know it's terrible I'm using my teenager to clean the house but you know what it's fine clean that and I'm gonna leave her bedroom how it is until Kendall is a child and then I will redo Hayden's room and give Kendall a bedroom so I'm just gonna wait for the bedroom but I will give her a makeover probably tonight but let's see what kind of pets we got I'm really excited okay so not many options it's fine uh, Missy Poppy and Ratchet I would rather have a kitten and we have Smokey and Rufus so my god rufus is adorable i really want like either a puppy or a kitten so really our only options are rufus and misty and sorry misty but rufus is way cuter and i'm actually gonna keep the name rufus i think that is so adorable so we're gonna name him rufus rufus is being cleaned up and checked out to come home to you so she's just gonna clean a little bit we'll say this is her way of like you know she got this dog without telling her mom, and this is her trying to be like, don't be mad at me, mom. Look, I have a puppy, kind of thing. Like, don't be mad I clean the house, so, you know, it, sh it should be fine. <laughs> like, it's her way of kind of asking for forgiveness. Oh, we also need to, oh my god, we got so much to do tonight. I kind of forget we have, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I forget we have a third baby, because she's been so, she's been amazing, like, she was born this morning, and all we had to do was feed her when we got home, and she's fine. She's totally fine. Brie is so cute. I really, like, I love her outfit, but I really do think she needs a more mature makeover. I know I purposely gave her that. I was really wanting her to have a midlife crisis, and then I realized that came with generations. So she can't get a midlife crisis. So we'll just pretend she's going through a little midlife crisis. Okay, and it looks like Harley needs some attention, so we're going to go plant the grapes really quickly, and then we're going to come tend to Harley. Kendall, why don't you go use the bathroom really, really quickly? And then after we take care of Harley, we will feed Kendall in the high chair. One last time. Come on, Bree. <gasps> Rufus is here. Rufus is here. Rufus is freaking here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, that was too much. I'm sorry. Okay, put Harley in the crib and then feed her. Let's come over here. Hey, dude. Here's your new pet, Rufus. Love him and give him a wonderful home. What does she want to do? Have two cats, dogs, horses, birds, lizards, turtles, rodents, snakes, butterflies, and beetles. Holy crap. Um, that would actually be a good one, but I'm not going to lock it in just because, like I said, I don't know if she's going to be the heir, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to lock in, become friends with Rufus, because, honey, you will be. Don't worry. I want to get, like, a good look at her face real quick. Oh, she is so cute. She got so many of Bree's jeans. Like, even without a makeover, she cute. She's so cute. Oh, my God. I can't wait. I can't freaking wait. Okay, Kendall, or not Kendall, Harley is going to need a diaper change. Uh, excuse you? No, no. No, no, no. Take care of your kids first. Oh my god, why is he in the road? Rufus, no. Get out of the road. Look at how little he is. Oh my god, I hope he, like I kind of hope he's a little dog, but I also hope he's a big dog. Look at him. He's chasing his little tail. Oh my god. Talk to him and then pick him up and we'll bring him in the house because obviously puppies can't go upstairs. Oh, oh my heart. Let's pet him. Do not go put him down anywhere. Pet him right now. She's literally, he's floating in her hand. He looks scared. He's like, I'm floating. I know it. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. I freaking love them. Okay, let's go put him down inside. Are you gonna... 
Go feed your child or what? You want to snuggle Kendall? We can do that. All right. And this dog, like Rufus, is going to be Hayden's dog. Even if Hayden isn't the heir that I choose, she will still, like, get Rufus, you know? Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to him, feed him a treat, talk to him again, let him sniff our hand and pet him. Just kind of chit-chat a little bit. Okay, come use the bathroom, take a shower, and then... Girl, stop! I swear to God, these sims. And then we'll go put Kendall in her crib. And then Harley needs a diaper change now. And then you're going to have to finish your garden before you go to bed. So you better get working on that. We have a little puppy, you guys. The cutest of little puppies. Ugh. The only thing cuter is my dog. For real. I love my dog. He's so adorable. Oh, I love them. And actually, why don't you help your mom out? Go put Kendall in her crib. And then you can have some of your birthday cake since you didn't have it earlier. You can head upstairs and go to bed and then probably go to sleep for the night. And let's really quickly, I'm going to get some puppy stuff, put it around the house, and, uh, yeah. That kind of stiff. So let's do, I want to do my custom content stuff, but at the same time, I really want to show, like, the stuff that comes with pets, you know? Alright, so we'll get him a toy box, plop her down. Why can that not go there? Pop it down there. I'm actually going to move this to be more in the corner. Perfect. Um, where is... Okay. So much easier to do it this way. Alright, we'll get you a little ball. We'll make it red and yellow. There we go. And why not get him... <coughs> Excuse me. Get him a little outdoor hut thingy and maybe we'll put it like like right there does that look weird and then come on let's take some terrain paint we'll do some dirt Just do nice and soft. Um, I don't like that dirt. I want this dirt. There we go. Cute! Okay, I think I'm basically just gonna get them like ready for bed. I'm gonna have Brie do her garden and stuff. And I'm gonna pick up in the morning. Oh wait! Scratch that. I did not give him a bed. Actually, yeah, no, he needs a bed. I was gonna say, I'll just wait till he's an adult and can go upstairs, but no, I'll give him a bed. So I don't know if he's gonna be a little dog or a big dog, so I'm gonna give him the little one for now. Um, and then if he ends up being a big dog, you know, he'll be able to go upstairs and I'll put a big bed in Hayden's room, so. There we go, now I will pick up in the morning. All right, so it is morning and Brie is getting up because of Miss Harley over here is in a terrible, terrible freaking mood. So we're gonna come play with her. School bus is coming for Hayden soon, of course. Give her a bottle, snuggle her, and then we'll also take care of Kendall. We will change her diaper, change her outfit, snuggle her, because that's what we wanna do, and then feed her in the high chair. And I gave Hayden a little makeover. Let me actually wake her up and then have her make the bed and go down the stairs. Actually, let's slide down those stairs. I wanna see that. <clears throat> I really wanna see that. Okay, sorry, I just ate my dinner, so I'm gonna be a little like, actually wait, I want a picture because I just do.
Oh, oh, that's so cute. I love that. Um, let me have her change do her everyday wear. I can show you her outfit real quick. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. This outfit is from Pets, of course. It is so adorable. Love it. Absolutely love it. And then just some, you know, strappy shoes, my basic. And I really, really love this hair. I know I've been using it a lot lately, but I just think it looks really, really good on her. So I gave her that hair and I debated on giving her makeup, but I actually decided not to. Um, I just thought she looked really good without it. So before she goes to school, we're going to come over here and give a little attention to Rufus, feed him a treat, talk to him and pet him. Um... <clears throat> yeah, spend time with your dog first. Oh, Rufus, that's so cute. I'm obsessed. Obsessed with him. Hurry up, though. You can't be late to school. Go to school. She's definitely going to be late. It takes him like an hour to get across town. Girl, don't even about this house, okay? I'm over it. Okay, so she's off to school. Brie is going to get herself and Kendall ready for the day, and then she is going to head out and cheat on Leighton, basically, is what she's going to do. But it's fine, because he was literally married when their relationship started, so it's all good, you know? And we have a lot of repairing to do around the house, so maybe we'll just go... <clears throat> Actually, instead of going somewhere... Maybe we'll just invite Xander over because she does have a lot to do around the house. Maybe we'll go out like later when Hayden gets home from school. So that way, one, we don't have to buy a babysitter and two, we just, you know, we can get some things done around the house. Also, as you can see, we have a little less money than usual. I finished the bathroom up here. Didn't go too crazy. I just put in a sink, a mirror, and a towel and a few decor pieces. All right, so we're gonna eat really quickly. We'll let Kendall out, and then Xander will probably be here. Also, Kendall's gonna be a child tomorrow. That's freaking insane. I feel like she was just born, which like she kind of was because I'm, I, I know I'm put. No, what girl, do not accuse him of cheating. I swear to God, I freaking swear to God. I'm gonna reset you because you are not accusing him of cheating. Not yet, honey. We need to have him one last time. Okay, go let Kendall out. And then we're just going to woohoo right away. That's all he's here for. That's all we want him for, so it's fine. Oh my gosh, of course he went straight to the computer. Okay, she is going to use the potty chair and then play with the blocks. Rufus, why is the door up? I hate that the door stays up. All right woohoo him and then leave him or make him leave I guess I do still want us to go hook up with Gus before he freaking dies I swear he's gonna die soon and it's honestly a little bit sad um we literally met him one time but still you know I want to hook up with as many people as I can and so far she's only hooked up with four Connor Jared Xander Layton oh and what's his name the guy, our stalker, what's his name? Um, did he die? What's his name? Huh, I don't know. <laughs> I just like sped through her whole woohoo. Okay, so she wants to give him and a Morris hug, so we'll do that really, really quickly. Morris hug, and then ask him to leave. Oh, she's like, oof, that was exciting. <laughs> How is Harley? She is going to need a diaper change really quickly. But I'm going to try and repair that first. Rufus, how you doing? I'm going to have you come. And, oh, I guess you can't pee yet. We didn't spend much time together, but whatever. Maybe we'll do more next time. No, we don't care about you. <clears throat> okay, Rufus, get out of my way. Come here, please. Research science facility. Mm, sure, why not? Okay, and then you'll need to come take care of your daughter. Oh, I hate having kids so close in age that they're um, in cribs together. It's honestly kind of annoying. 
<clears throat> but also, I hate having them so far apart in age that, like, I don't know. It just feels like too big of an age gap if you don't have them in cribs together. Okay, put Harley in the crib. Do you need anything? No, you don't. So go repair the TV. And then tend our garden. Actually, we can sell everything we got yesterday, which is exciting. Let's see how much money we're going to make from our garden today. <clears throat> oh my god, we made 400 smolians. That is amazing. I'm honestly... I kind of wonder if I should even... He peed in the house, didn't he? I'm positive he peed in the freaking house. Oh my gosh. I'm honestly kind of wondering if we should even get a part-time job. Like, I'm gonna have her do it, but part of me... Oh shoot, she was supposed to talk to friends all day. Whoops. Um... But, like, part of me doesn't want her to get a part-time job because we make quite a bit of money from our garden. But also, like, we need all the money we can get right now. So it'd be kind of nice if she did have a part-time job. So I don't know. We'll just have to see, I guess. I think this freaking picture right there is so cute. Also, look at that butt. <laughs> all right, how are you? Looks like it's time to leave. Who even are you? Bye. I didn't invite you anyways. I cannot wait until Rufus can come outside and like Kendall can be playing on the playground and Rufus can be pushing his ball around. Oh, those are going to be the days, you guys. The freaking days. All right. She fixed this. Uh, I almost said the sink. The TV. Awesome. Did you guys see that? She just like struggled to move and then walked straight through it. I think this is so cute in the middle of her garden. I absolutely love it. All right, so now she's gonna be here for about seven hours. Hayden is gonna need a shower the second she gets home. And then she'll probably have to do her homework. So let's, oh, that's right. I don't have generations anymore. So teens know how to drive as soon as they age up. Oh my God, that's so weird. It is so weird not having generations. There are so many, like, <clears throat> grow a flame fruit bush. Probably not. But there are so many, like, small little details that came with generations that just really make the game. Like, it's so weird not playing with generations. <clears throat> okay, let's check on birthdays. Harley has two days. Oh, let's check out her favorites. Aquarius, Kids, Cobbler, and Spiceberry. Kindle has one day, Latin, French, and Spiceberry. She's an Aries. Oh my god, all three of them, their favorite color is Spiceberry. That's really cute. That's really cute. I like that. <laughs> what is he doing? Sniffing around. Can toddlers interact with dogs at all? Oh, no. They can't. That'd be kind of cute if they could. You know, if your toddler could, like, side hug your dog or something. She's just so popular today. Everybody wants her. Okay, Hayden is almost home, though. So as soon as you're done with your garden, you will come to the supermarket, get a part-time job, and then what is Gus's last name? Um, Gus Hart. Andrews Sakamoto Hart. Please tell me Gus is home. No, but there is a man there, so <laughs> we'll give it a try. I don't see where else he would live because that's, yeah, that's Molly's house. We haven't seen Molly in ages, you guys, freaking ages. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> and honestly, we wouldn't have even seen Victoria in forever either if we didn't have to give her that, um, that, uh, Da, 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 da. the stereo are you home okay you are home showering good good you are pretty good you might need to be fed soon so why don't you actually use the potty chair real quick and then you can just play with the toy are you almost done with your garden oh one of our lettuce plants died um one of our tomato plants died and our lettuce plant so when i sell stuff i gotta keep one of each of those are you not done yet? Seriously? Okay, I think she just has these two left. 
She's been working on this since what, like one o'clock? Literally six hours on her freaking garden. See, I'm like, I'm debating because I kind of want to expand her garden and make it bigger, but also like, yeah, hello, over six hours on her garden already and she's not even done. Okay, well, she literally didn't even finish, but whatever. Okay, so I need to keep one tomato, one lettuce. Alright. How much did we make today? <clears throat> 386. We're on a freaking roll, you guys. A freaking roll. Where are you playing with that at? In your mom's room. Such a freaking cutie. Come over here and play with this one. And Hayden, you will feed her in the high chair. Actually, you need to go take care of Harley. Let's come play with her, snuggle her, and we'll just give her a bottle so she's like taken care of. We just saw a deer, cute. She wants to pick up Kindle, watch the deer. No, we're not doing that. Yes, accept the job. All right, so let me see her hours. She is 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. product quality assessor. She makes 30 simoleons per hour. So that means she works three hours. She'll make 90 simoleons a day, which isn't great, especially, you know, if we have to pay the babysitter 75 simoleons every day. That really sucks. But I think Hayden should be home from school by the time that um, Brie leaves for work every day. So I think we should be all right. <clears throat> I honestly have a feeling that now that Hayden is a teen, she's kind of going to be playing mom to her little sisters a lot. A part of the reason why Brie hasn't really done much since she got pregnant with Hayden is because she had kids to raise. So, I don't know. I kind of have a feeling that Hayden is going to take on the role of mom. <gasps> Look at that. She's already out there chatting it up with Gus. Okay, I just want to get Hayden set with things to do really quickly. Finish her homework. And by that point, uh, Harley, oh my god, I'm messing up their names. By that point, I'm sure Harley will have a dirty diaper, so we'll change it. And then you will go to bed as well. Okay, so the kids are all set for the night. I'm going to hop on over to Brie. She is not in the best of moods, but it's fine. We don't care. We really, really don't. Who's this? Gavin. Hey, Gavin, you want to be next on my list? He's like, no, please don't talk to me. Is he married? He is married. That sucks. Where is Gus? Okay, I was like, don't tell me he's in the effing ground. Okay, uh, make a silly face. Do we know anything about him? Childish, chariz charismatic, and family-oriented. Okay, make a silly face, tell a funny story, get to know, compliment his home. Um, talk about gardening. No. Look at this dog. Ladybug. <gasps> Are you shitting me? <laughs> Girl, why? He's dying right in front of my eyes. Are you kidding me? We were just about to do you. Grim? We're gonna do Grim. Where is he? Where is he? Hey, Grim. She's like, I know you're dying, but I really gotta pee. Grim, can we? Grim. I just, I just want to woohoo. Look at this whole family mourning the loss of their dad, probably. And then Bree's just standing here like, I was just about to woohoo with him. <gasps> He's gone. He dipped. He just freaking dipped. Grim Reaper, yes, woohoo with the freaking Grim Reaper. Oh my gosh. Are you a teenager or are you an adult? Can you stop crying for a second? No, he's definitely a teenager. <sighs> Who is she arguing with? Who, Dory? Who do you think you are? All right, he's a teen. Let's, um... 
Answer our phone real quick. Maybe it'll be someone good. Um, speak to Jacosta. No. Go use the bathroom quick. Is there anyone home that we can just pop into? Ugh, Leighton still lives with his ex-wife. Gross. Jared's home. Let's go just see how good old Jared's doing. How is Hayden doing? She's good. She's going to be really tired tomorrow. Oh my god. She's already like fully rested. Maybe we'll skip the diaper change. Bree can do that when she gets home. Alright. Go to Jared's house and woo... J go. Just go. <laughs> we're going to go to Jared's house and we're going to woohoo with him really, really quickly. And then I'll send her home, probably have her grab something to eat, and then go to bed. We'll shower later. Oh, and Harley just wet herself. And Hayden is like, I'm, I'm out. I'm not doing it. She didn't even... She barely did half her homework. Oh, my God. Oh tragic okay why is it being like this let's go jared you better not be in bed i know you got a wife and stuff but like get out of bed it's fine it's really fine throw a birthday party for harley mm, maybe i'll lock it in i don't know if we'll do it for sure but i'll lock it in okay can we like not act like this Thank you. Can you let me in, please? Oh my god. Molly is getting pretty old and won't live forever. Now might be a good time to consider paying Molly a visit. <gasps> my baby, she's gonna die. I'm so sad. Oh, look at his bitch ass wife in the bed. Like what? No, we're waking you up. And then we're gonna woohoo with your mans. What is this? What is this? Don't gossip. Don't, don't gossip. Just um, do a pickup line. He wants nothing to do with us. That's fine. We're gonna woohoo with you anyways. Don't let your wife see. Even though she's literally in the room. No! You little bitch, wake up. She's in their sink. She was inside of their sink. Brie, I freaking love you. Just, just go relax right now. Oh. 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 Oh, not that kind of compliment. I was like, is Jamie about to flirt with us? Go woohoo with Jared right the F now. Jamie, get out of this room. I swear to God, if you try to get in that bed, I'm resetting you. S S what? Come on. Sim Jamie. How does she spell it? Oh, crap. Jamie Frio? No. Do not get in that damn bed. Girl. Do not get in that damn bed. I'm so sick of you. Can you let Jared get in the bed, please? Don't even. Don't at me. Don't. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Listen to criticism. Oh, honey. 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 Don't even. Don't at me. D mm -mm, Jared, with your ugly ass. Don't even. This is what we get for trying to go back to an old thing. Argue with him. You're an ugly, stupid, mean little... Yeah, look at that. Mock his appearance. Like, those sideburns? Ew. Who does that? <laughs> it's getting pretty late. Perhaps it's time you leave. Okay. I'm going to end this part here. Oh my freaking god. Um, oh my god, look at her face. Okay, camera, can you cooperate with me, please? 
<laughs> oh, I love her. I'm going to end this part here. Um, what do you guys think about um, Leighton moving in in the next part? We'll probably do it um, on Harley's birthday is probably when I'll have him move in. So let me know what you guys think about that. And also, do you think we should start hooking up with Connor again? I know they like hate each other, <laughs> but... I think, you know, they'll try and work things out for the sake of their kids, and then because Brie is the way she is, they'll start hooking up again. But they're not going to date again. Honestly, I really like Leighton, and I think we might, he might, like, stick around and be a permanent boyfriend for Brie. But he, she's still going to cheat. No worries. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think about all of that in the comments down below. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not already and like this video if you enjoyed it and i'll see all of your lovely lovely faces in my next video bye guys